prestigious STV building on Glasgow's waterfront is the home of Res's state-of-the-art control centre. Its role is to monitor assets around the world, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The control centre is a facility that was established in 2014. It currently monitors wind farms, solar sites, battery storage facilities and offshore transmission systems. My role is to oversee the, the, the development of the, of the control centre, manage the staff in the control centre and make sure that we're compliant with our rules, regulations and standards. Well, I'm a, an operational controller. My job is to keep turbines turning and escalating that fast uh, is, is what I'm there for, really. We've got assets in France, we've got assets in, in the States. Um, so even though I'm in a room, in a control centre, everything that I do is, uh, is all around the world. The reason we have the control centre is it allows us to centralise a lot of the core services that we need to provide on a day-to-day -day basis to run these assets. And in effect, we take advantage of the economies of scale. It would not be cost effective to try and provide those services on an asset by asset basis. We've got a constant and consistent point of contact. We are always there to monitor the sites 24-7. There was a particular situation where in the middle of the night we had lost a connection to a wind farm. Automatically the wind farm stops producing, all the turbines stop. Uh, if I hadn't been there, you were looking at uh, an asset being off for some 12 hours. So there, there was 12 hours of generation because I was able to escalate that and to me that's the value of the control centre. Well essentially what the dashboard is, is a, a picture of a lot of different manufacturers. Uh, the green circles would represent each turbine and green means OK. Another function of the dashboard is that it can tell us if we drop below 40% of installed capacity. That way we know that we need to instruct the DNOs that we've got a significant drop in production figure. We've got procedures that cover uh, the allocation of job cards and things like that, but we've also got uh, emergency procedures as well, that in the event of an emergency, that we've got uh, grab cards that we can instantly grab and we know exactly what to ask, we know what, exactly what information to capture and making sure that the turbine gets the response as quick as possible, not only to make sure that it turns, but maybe to prevent further damage as well. It's important to be quick because of the lost production. The, the, the longer it takes to respond to the fault, the longer the asset is off, the more revenue is lost. The STV building was chosen specifically because of its robust comm systems. The nature of STV's business, they are like us, they need to keep running regardless. So they have on-site generating facilities and battery storage facilities. So if we lose the power locally, we will keep running.